Such new developments to share with you tonight on work toward the proposed Mobile River Bridge. Yeah, business leaders from Mobile and Baldwin counties, among several dozen others, in Montgomery last night to hear the latest developments on that project and the job opportunities associated with it. Fox 10 News was the only TV station there. Our Steve Alexander is back from Montgomery. He joins us now in studio. And Steve, tell us about the focus of the meeting. Mainly it was a forum to involve minorities and women-owned businesses, but it was also a chance to get a few more details on the project and a rare opportunity to see the representatives of the three groups vying to build the bridge. Bridge officials played an animated video and gave more details on the project. It will run 12 miles from Broad Street to the Daphne Interchange, a six-lane bridge with an observation deck half a mile of it over the Mobile River. And the project also means changes for the Bayway. The project does include the full replacement of the Bayway. The existing Bayway is a four lane structure and we will be replacing it with a new eight lane structure. That means plenty of job openings in demolition, construction, and other fields. There's landscaping opportunities, uh, there's signing and striping. There was a packed house on hand to meet with representatives of the three groups vying to build the bridge. I-10 Mobility Partners, Gulf Coast Connectors, and the Mobile River Bridge Group. Business people had a chance to meet one-on-one -on -one with the representatives. It's huge. The, 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 the amount of money and the, the, the revenue it's going to produce, the people it's going to put to work is great. Yeah, we're in Spanish Fort, you know, right close to home. I th we're very excited about it. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Uh, there will include a lot of work at the seven interchanges. I uh, see an opportunity possibly in uh, design concerning those interchanges, the bridge that is going to be seven miles long. LDOT officials say the group that will build the project won't be selected until late next year, but business people here are ready to be in it for the long haul. What kind of interested you about this project? The magnitude of it. <laughs> and then I'm looking at uh, longevity and uh, I say uh, a future foundation for my grandkids and stuff. Of course, future is a key word. Construction on the bridge is set to begin in 2020 and completion in 2025. Reporting live from the studio, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News.